Yo, what's up guys? Since the new Yachin questline requires the treasure hunt puzzles, I'll do a quick guide for them. We'll start off in Daliang city where you get the bounty quest. Now note you will need a total of 3 shovels for the whole thing, but they are really cheap. First of all you wanna head to the Imperial School, then your character will search a bit. Next up you get the second clue which is to go to a medicinal place which is right here, the clinic house. And lastly we will go to the Tower of Prosperity. Okay, start digging. And we have the first node. And that's the treasure hunt in Daliang city. Okay, next up we are in Chuxiang city and we got it. First of all we will head to the... Okay, we will deny the widow. We will head to the Ding family. Here we will get the first clue. Next up we will head to the dojo. And we will find the second clue. And lastly we will head to this place. A boutique shop. We can now start digging for the uh, second map piece. And there we have the second map piece. So now only Linen City is missing. Okay. Now we have found the last treasure hunt puzzle, which is Linen City. First of all, we will head to a blacksmith. This is the first clue. The second clue is at the Maiden House, all the way in the north of the city. And lastly, the government office in the south again. You will dig up the last piece again and now we will have a complete map we can look at. Now this will mark a location and we'll go to the location right now. Now we can look at the location again, three trees, a few mountains and look at that, in Daliang we have exactly this region. And if you go there you will find a new location, the mass burial grounds. Now when entering this there are a lot of graves. You can either dig them or you can wait till it's a later time in the Tomb Raider sect digs them up. Now if you personally dig up these graves you have to watch out for the Thunder Tribulation. It can reduce your max HP if you get hit by it. As such if you want to dig up the graves you have to follow a specific order and not move between the log and this grave. Now in the last grave you dig up regardless of the order you will get the Guangling Melody score. It's always the last grave, so you can't cheese it with quick saving, quick loading. Now we have to watch out, I can't move in this area, otherwise I'll get struck by lightning. And if I now dig up the last grave, we will get an exc exclamation mark from our character. And he will find the long lost Guangling Melody score. Now the alternative to digging up the graves is to wait for the Tomb Raider sect to dig them up. Of course the Tomb Raider sect 
needs to not be exterminated at this point. Otherwise, you'll have to dig it up yourself. The way to do so is you wait till it's 11 p.m., then leave and re-enter the map, after which you'll get a cutscene, and this is why the Tomb Raider sec needs to still be alive. And you do the obvious wuxia thing, you beat them up. And there you go. And we will get the ancient bamboo scroll. Now, as you can see, we this time did not find the Guangling Melody score immediately. That's due to us having less than 100 musical score. As such, if you do not have 100 musical, you will need to find a person who does have it. Typically, you will go to the Melody House. Here you can see the item, you can see how it says you need at least 100 musical. In this case we have Gu Ching Cheng in our party and she has 100 musical, so we can select her, use the item and we will obtain the Guangling Melody score. Here you can see that she has 111 musical. And that's it guys, if you liked it, share, like and subscribe and we'll see us next time.